four days ago, I was sitting with my mother in a church at a funeral visitation for Robin's grandma, and she looked me in the eyes and said, Joseph, Joseph, not Joe. I want to go back to my homeland in Pico, Portugal. And she said, we have to go now. And we were talking a little bit about life and how the world we live in is much different now than it was not too long ago. And she said, it's time for us to go. So I did everything I could and within four days, I got us back to the homeland. Myself, my mother, my wife, all right, Robin. Behind us is the Atlantic Ocean and we're here and it is beautiful. I've wanted to come here for almost 30 years since I've really understood where my mom was from and we're finally here. We don't have everyone with us, but we're here and we're gonna have a good time. After booking our trip, putting it all together, we jumped on a flight from Toronto and there's no direct flights to Pico, the small island. You have to get on a smaller plane. So first we flew to Lisbon, then we had to do a quick layover. Two hours, it was perfect. Took a little plane to Pico. When we arrived in the airport, we had a whole bunch of family waiting for us. They couldn't believe my mom was back. A bunch of cousins, a couple friends, some kids, and it was wonderful. You're not coming to Pico without going up Pico Mountain, which is back there. We went up right away. No, we did not hike yet, but we drove as far up as we could. I think we were about 1,200 meters above sea level. And up there, they have this nice little, I don't know, chalet, where you can watch a video explaining to you how the island was made. It was a couple of volcanoes that erupted way back in the day developed that mountain, this island, it's beautiful. It's why we see all this black rock everywhere is because of Pico Mountain. And after we were done up there, we drove down and we were hungry. So we went to this beautiful restaurant right on the water where we all ordered different things. It was beautiful and the view looking at the ocean was gorgeous. And from there, we were with some family. We went to this beautiful church here in Pico. I think it's the second or the largest church here on the island, and it was gorgeous. Today was a really special, important day. Today we went, basically the reason we came to Pico. We went, myself, my mother, who hasn't been to Pico in 40 years, and my wife, Espuza Robin, to my grandparents' old house that I've never seen before. And we went there and we did a little tour. Oh, wow, how many years since I've done this? <laughs> I don't know, how many? Over 40. Wow. Oh my so goodness. if you've never been here. This is my no. first time standing here, yeah? There's a fig tree. Yeah? Yeah. Was it here when you left? It was here, it was that size when I left it, thing. maybe bigger. It's an old house but it's a decent size. I was pretty emotional. My mom, first time being there in years, lots of memories coming back. It was really special. Uh, I can even feel the emotions coming on now just from the time we spent there. The place needs work, so we gotta figure out some stuff to get some work done. After that, we did something else pretty cool for the first time ever for the three of us, my mom, Robin, and myself, is we went whale watching in the Atlantic Ocean. We did a guided tour. So that was a pretty cool experience. Uh, nobody got seasick. We spent some time on the ocean, came back in and just enjoying the island life with family and friends. It's beautiful here. Mucho lindo. Today is Espuza Anniversario. All right, Robin's birthday. We started off the day by going for a nice little hike 
through this parkette along the ocean and we enjoyed the views and it was beautiful. A nice way to kind of start working up an appetite because from there we headed over to Cella Bar. It's this nice little wine bar where we sat on top of their restaurant bar winery type thing and we had a nice beautiful view of the ocean and we could see the island of Fayel and up there we enjoyed a nice drinks and food and it was a beautiful day we enjoyed it a lot and now we're gonna go see what else Pico has to offer. Yesterday we started off our day by going for a swim in the ocean. We found ourselves this little private grotto. Oh my God! It was a little cool, they call it Freshka, but it was a beautiful time. And from there, we got cleaned up and we came to Mass, where we attended Mass here at this church behind me. The church that my mom grew up going to, where her and her family would walk every Sunday to go to Mass. It was actually pretty beautiful. And from there, we went to a family's house for a fiesta. We ate, we drank, we talked, we enjoyed the view of the ocean. It was beautiful. We went and toured the different properties that our family has. And it's interesting because there are a lot of little properties here where there's some properties that are used for fruit, like growing bananas, or some little properties are simply for animals to walk around and graze. Like there's a property, I think they call it Sheepland. Bon dia. <laughs> we had a beautiful time with our family. It was a great day. Pico de mucho lindo. Love it here. Yesterday was a special day of familia. We met up with Prima Maria Fatima, my mom's cousin, here in Pico, and we jumped on a ferry and did some island jumping. We went over to the island of Fayel. It was about a 30 minute ferry ride over there. The people of Pico see that, say the best thing of Fayel is the view of Pico. Fayel is a nice island as well, and we got to meet up with Two tias, two of my mom's aunts. Bon dia, more. Bon dia. Thanks. <laughs> Lots of emotions. It was a beautiful thing. And while they were visiting, all right, Robin and I wanted to just do a quick exploring of the island because we were just there for a few hours. We had to catch another ferry back. So we walked around, seen some of the sights. It's beautiful. And then we jumped on a bigger ferry back, took that back to Pico, and it was a beautiful day. Our last day in Pico, what did we do? We started off the day by visiting my mom's friend that she's known forever. And we dropped her off and they went for lunch and friends did friend things. And what did we do? All right, Robin and I decided to do a little bit of exploring. And we toured the island. We drove up the mountain. On the one day that it was foggy that we were here, came across this beautiful little bakery. Pastelaria Aromas Saboras. And it was a beautiful thing. We had some nice cappuccinos and we had some nice pasta donatas. We ended off the day by getting together with some familia and just enjoyed a couple moments left together. <laughs> Hello, Ernesto. Say, now, sadly, it's time to leave the island of Pico. We made it home safe from Pico. We're back here in Wingfleet, and that was, if not my favorite trip, right up there on the top of the list. It was absolutely amazing seeing the great sights, but my favorite parts was time with family and friends. It's bittersweet to be back home, but really looking forward to going back one day.